Hello and welcome to this week's pub quiz for the 30th of March 2018. So this week it is the Easter week and unfortunately for you guys I don't have any Easter specific theme or questions, it's just not a thing I do, but it does mean that the pub quiz is not running as normal. Um, this is actually a remake of an old quiz of mine the sixth quiz that I ever wrote. I've gone back through it and I've spruced the questions up. So this is just for you guys. This won't be run live. Um, the rules are the same as always. I'll give a short pause between questions so that you can stop. We're going to go through all the questions before we go through all the answers. Uh, so pause after each question so that you have 60 to 90 seconds to consider it. And then we'll go through all the answers at the end. Uh, there will be 25, well, 24 points as usual. Um, question 10 will have two points. Question 19 will have five points, but the other questions are worth one point each. Um, good luck, enjoy, and stick around at the end if you want to hear about my Patreon, because I have to keep mentioning that. All right, let's get stuck in. Question one. Which Polish person was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes and is still the only person to have won in two different science disciplines? Question two. Which of these is smallest? A bacterium, that is a single unit of bacteria, a viron, which is a single unit of a virus, or a red blood cell? Which of those three things is the smallest by size? Question three. What is the official anthem of the EU? Question four. We all have a skeleton inside us right now. For half a point each, answer the following. First, does a child or an adult human have more bones in their skeleton? And second, give the number, plus or minus five, of bones in either an adult's or a baby's skeleton. Question five. What is the name given to a baby kangaroo? Question six. This is the anagram question. We are looking for a famous scientific figure from history in the anagram Taiwan Cones. Question seven. For half a point each, answer the following two questions about the famous story about David, and this is from the Bible. First, what was the name of the man slain by David using a sling? Second, what faction did this man belong to? Question eight. In English football, how many professional leagues are there? Question nine. In which year, plus or minus one, did the Chernobyl nuclear disaster occur? Question 10. This is on Roald Dahl. So there are going to be two questions about Roald Dahl, and the first is 10A. The following are the initials of lesser known works of Roald Dahl. Give the full title of any one of them for the point. So the first title of a book by Roald Dahl has the initials T E C. Second, C A T G G E. And third, D T C O T W. 10B then. In which work of Roald Dahl would you encounter this trio? Boggis, Bunce, and Bean. Question 11. In what year did these things happen? All of them happened in the same year? What year? First, Robert Mugabe is elected as the Prime Minister of Zimbabwe. Second, legal changes place Princess Victoria of Sweden first in line to the throne ahead of her younger brother. 
65 countries boycott the Olympics this year. Iron Maiden releases their first album, and Back in Black is released by ACDC. John Lennon is killed by Mark Chapman. Zoe de Chanel, Lin Manuel Miranda, Steven Gerrard, Venus Williams, and Christina Aguilera are all born in this year. What year is it? Question 12. This is the maths question. Give the positive solution to this quadratic equation. Question 13. Which of these cities is furthest north? Stockholm, Sweden, Oslo, Norway, Helsinki, Finland, or St. Petersburg, Russia? Question 14. Which mountain range separates France from Spain? Question 15. As canine is dogs and feline is cats, identify any two of the animals that these ein words refer to. Caprine, vulpine, ursine and ovine. So there are four words. You need to give me the animal being referred to by any two of them. Question 16. Which war in world history has caused the most military deaths for the United States of America? Question 17. Name any two countries whose flag contains neither red nor blue. There are nine in total and you need two of them. Question 18. Name any two chemical elements whose symbols on the periodic table contain the letter S. Upper or lowercase s is acceptable. There are lots of answers for this one. Nine, I think, again. All right, that brings us to the five-parter. Question 19 will be on common mythical creatures. Give the name of the creature being described in each case, and there will be pictures too, so it's not just wordy descriptions. Here are a few that haven't been included, like very common ones. But for 19a, a winged horse named after an original mythical winged horse, and there is a picture there from Disney's Hercules. What are that? What is that mythical creature? 19b, body of a lion with a human head and sometimes with the wings of a bird. And we have two sculpture examples. 19c, human child sized, reptilian skin, a beak and a shell. The plate or bald spot on the top of its head must remain wet or the creature will lose its power got an example from video games and a piece of original art. Not by me, by the way, I should clarify, I took that off the internet. 19C, which is labelled wrong, oops. Um, no wait, see, oh there's two Bs, that's why. 19D, oh well. Uh, the face and arms of a woman Wings instead of arms and talons instead of feet. And 19E, a fire-breathing lion with a snake for a tail and the head of a goat on its back. Again, cribbed that arse off the internet. All right, so who be playing this week? Uh, I don't, do I remember? Yeah, but my throat's not going to let me do an impression of it, so I'm afraid that it's not going to be a question this week for even the video people. Some weeks I'll do an impression of the song maybe, but not this week. Make sure that you've answered everything you wish to answer, because we're about to start seeing the actual answers. So if you're ready, here we go. Question 1. Which Polish person was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes? That was Marie Curie. 
she is still the only person to have won in two different sciences, and there are only four people who've ever won two. Question two. A viron, or single unit of virus, is the smallest there. It is uh, very small. Question three. The official anthem of the EU is Ode to Joy, which is part of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, so you can have Beethoven's Ninth. That's an acceptable answer. Question four. A child has more bones than an adult, because, as it says below, you're born with about 270 bones, but several of them will fuse together as you grow up, so an adult will have less than a child. Um, the numbers are 270 for a baby and 206 for an adult. Plus or minus 5 is the margin you were given, so you can be close to either number within the margin. Question 5. The name of a baby kangaroo is a joey. Question 6. We were looking for Isaac Newton in Taiwan cones. Question 7. Goliath was the famous Philistine killed by David for half a point each. Question 8. There are four professional football leagues. The Premier League, the Championship, League One and League Two are all professional leagues. Question 9. In what year did the Chernobyl disaster occur? It was in 1986. You did have a plus minus one leeway here. Question 10. Part A, we were looking for any of these three books. The Enormous Crocodile, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, and Danny, the Champion of the World. Ten B. Boggis, Bunce and Bean. One fat, one short, one lean. They are fantastic Mr. Fox. Great story. Question 11. The year was 1980 in which Robert Mugabe was elected. Sweden changed its succession laws, the Olympics got boycotted, and John Lennon was killed. Question 12, the maths question. There are a couple of ways of doing this. You could either try to factorise it up, or you could get it into the formula. And in both cases, the positive answer will come out to be 5. Question 13, the furthest north of these cities is Helsinki in Finland. Although, as you can see, they're all pretty close together. Question 14. The Pyrenees separate France from Spain. Question 15. Goat, fox, bear and sheep are, respectively, caprine, vulpine, ursine and ovine. Note that bovine is cow and ovine is sheep. They are very similar, but distinct. Question 16. The war that has cost the most deaths for the United States of America is the American Civil War, since casualties on both sides are counted. The Second World War is in second place. Question 17. The countries whose flags contain neither red nor blue are Bhutan, Côte d'Ivoire, or the Ivory Coast, Cyprus, Ireland, Jamaica, Pakistan, Niger, Nigeria, and Saudi Arabia. A fun fact here, when I originally ran this quiz, there was a tenth possible answer, but it has updated its flag in 2017. So if any of you put Mauritania, bad luck. Question 18. The available answers are silicon, sulfur, scandium, arsenic, selenium, strontium, tin, antimony, cesium, osmium, and samarium. So any two of those for the point. And question 19. Pegasus for 19A is, of course, that original winged mythical horse. 19B is a sphinx. I was very careful not to have you know, the Sphinx, but these are Sphinxes. 19C, Kappa, which is a Japanese monster, and if you try and Google for it, you will only find the Twitch TV meme. Uh, 19D, Harpy, and of course that's from World of Warcraft. 
Um, 19E, Chimera. So there you go. And the song that I refused to parody was Pink. Uh, so add up your points. Um, make sure that any ones that you liked, you tell me about. Any ones you disliked, you tell me about. You know? I'm always interested in people's feedback on these things. Um, I hope you have a good Easter. And I hope that, you know, life goes well for you and all that good stuff. My Patreon is just Patreon slash Karagorical. So you can donate to me there if you want to. I'm hoping to start doing a series of retrospectives where I'm going to talk about the inspiration behind questions, like where I got the topic from, and some of the things that I found when I was researching, because there's some interesting stuff out there. But uh, for now, have a good Easter, and I'll see you next week.